Hey, hey, welcome to another episode of Enter the Far Plane. This is Enter the Far Plane number four, and uh, we have the host, uh, Click Uzolt, and myself, Tech Maki, and uh, tonight we'll be talking about uh, the Halloween event, uh, past banners, loving that smile, bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> Freaking, uh, yeah, so we'll be talking about the, uh, the characters from the uh, Halloween event, and... Uh, you know, uh, what were uh, rewards, all types of stuff. So um, I'll go ahead and let Clay get started on uh, last week, um, the banner polls and whatnot. Okay, so last week what we had was the Final Fantasy IV banner with uh, Edge, Rosa, Cecil, Dark Knight, Cecil. Uh, the big the big lucky, you know, the big thing you wanted from this was Cecil. And what, what from what I've been reading on Reddit and other people, was the Cecil's drop rate was pretty good. And I like to hear that because what happened last time when we had a unit like that that everybody wanted that was three star base, it was Zidane, and his pull rates were abysmal. So they didn't do that to us this time, Tech. That was pretty good. That's true. They didn't. Uh, I hear a lot of people were getting Cecil, so there should be a bunch of people once uh, this event uh, has run its course to get a six star Cecil out of this. So that's 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 awesome. Um, thanks for everybody. Uh, exactly. One of the best things in the game too. Indeed, indeed, he's very nice. He's very nice. Uh, we also had Edge and Rosa, which um, I'm, I still don't have Rosa. I'm not sure how the hell that happened. Uh, yeah, There's but I do have. Yeah. Oh, is there? Mm -hmm. hmm, that's odd. How is there an echo? Um. Either way. All right. Oh, yeah, I don't hear it. Um. Go ahead. Go ahead. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, so yeah, um, but yeah, so Edge, uh, Edge, yeah, I got one of those, um, I guess he's garbage for the most part though, so, uh, um, but his, his drop rate was pretty good, right? Everybody got Edge? I think Edge and Cecil actually had the same drop rate. Oh, okay, that's true, yeah, because they're both three stars, right? Yeah, yeah, and then there's, uh, then there was that guy Dark Knight Cecil, which, um, did you get one? I did not get one, no, yeah. but I didn't pull very hard for him either, so... True, I could true. have had something to do with it. True. Yeah, I didn't get uh, a Dark Knight's Easel either. Um, so, yeah, I don't know much about that guy, but uh, he, he does seem to be um, uh, pretty nice in the in the JB side right now. How, how's he How's he stack up to everybody on the global side? On the global side, I think he's the he's right under Lightning as the second highest attack damage unit in the game. As far as like. You know, stack him up. I think he's the second best physical damage dealer unit. And then in the Japanese version, they recently uh, gave him some enhancements, which pushed him even higher up in the rankings. So uh, overall, I think Dark Knight Cecil is pretty damn strong right now. Pretty damn okay. strong. Okay. Uh, bad thing about Dark Knight Cecil is they released him, and then they released an event where everything doesn't take dark damage very well. They have resistances. So that was kind of bad, but it's yeah. alright. Yeah, true that, true that. Well, um, yeah, I mean, I, I don't even know what really to say about Dark Knight Cecil, um, because, uh, I mean, I know JP side, yeah, he's really strong, he's, uh, he's one of the top people. Um, on our side, he, he can be pretty damn strong. Dep I think it depends on the gear you give him and the, and the TMs he has equipped, um, because of his, uh, that, um, what is it, his, his 49%, uh, HP draining skill, right? Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, so he, I mean, he can kill himself, that's cool. Just like Garland. Um, yeah, that's all I really got to say about Dark Knight Cecil, though. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, man. Yeah, he, uh. it seemed like a lot of people got him. But, I mean, I think, again, like, people... I think all five-star units are treated equally, uh, as far yeah. as drop rates are concerned. I think it's just the... I mean, there could be differences, but I think it's just the the fact that you have to get a rainbow crystal that kind of kind of screws people over. It's not actually the drop rates of Dark Knight Cecil compared to other five-star units. It's the rainbow, so... Right. There's that. Okay. All right. No, that makes sense, man. That makes sense. All right. Do you want to move on from the uh, from the last week banner and then we'll talk about this banner? Sure. All right. So uh, this banner we have uh, this is a Halloween banner. So we're having our global exclusive or exclusive characters. Um, was Demon Rain, Draku, Loswell, White Witch Fina, and Black Cat Lid. Um, yep. I haven't done my polls for it yet, um, but I know you did a. Uh, banner review guide, so I'll let you hit that up one more time. Let us know about these characters. Okay, so uh, essentially they released two five-star base characters in Demon Rain and Dracula as well. Um, you know, it's it's kind of rough because they aren't the best in a way. They aren't mm -hmm. the best in a way. Um, give me give me one second. To talk. I'm gonna do one right. second. All right. You um, take over for a minute. I got. I'll, I'll take over. Take All right. Over. No problem. No problem. So. Yeah, they're both um, five star, uh, five star 
um, crystals. Um, so they go from five, hard, five star to six star. Um, then we also have, uh, what is it? Um, White Witch Fina is a four star base. I think it's the first four star base character we're go getting that goes to six star at the moment. I'm sure that'll change later on down the road. We'll have some four stars that go to six star, um, at least from current polls. And then we also have Black Cat Lid, which is a three star to five star. Um, so she should have the best drop rate out of everybody since three star crystals are quite common. Um, but Clay's back, so we'll go ahead and let him get back into what he was saying. Go ahead, man. Okay, so yeah, um, off that banner, I'd say the best two units would be uh, Draco Lazwell is the best five star base unit, and then you have Black Cat Lid, which actually was uh, pretty much a superstar of the banner. Considering the fact that you're going to get her a lot, it seems like her drop rate is honestly astounding. I did my pulls today. I did 111 pull and two other pulls, and ended up getting three or four Black Cat Lids, I think. Okay. So you're going to be able to get her, and she actually has, uh, I think it's called Ultimate Blow, which right. the physical damage on that ability, it, it ignores some defense and does a lot of damage. So she, she's actually pretty good for, for a lot of uh, people who, who maybe are looking for a good physical damage dealer. She could take that spot. Mm -hmm. um, Dracula Laswell, he's... He, he has a lot of attacks. So he's going to fit right underneath uh, DKC for the most attack right now in the unit's base anyway. Uh -huh. And he kind of fills that niche. But sadly, Demon Rain and Draco Laswell and White with, White with Trinner are all going to be... They're already overshadowed now. They're, and it's just going to keep piling on, you know what I'm saying? So they're not right. the best units. They're, they're, they're pretty... They're, they're terrible if you think about future-proofing yourself. But as far as, like, you know, you have a new account or you don't have the best account and you get Draco Laswell, you get Demon Rain... But they're just, they're going to help your team quite a bit, you know. The, the mm. problem with White Witch Fina, though, even though she's a six-star healer, she doesn't have Asuna, she doesn't have Kuraja, she doesn't have the things you really want in a in a healer or a mm -hmm. support, to be honest. I mean, she has cheer, but, I mean, for a six-star healer, only having cheer to back you up is not, not where you want to be, in my opinion. No, no, I agree. Uh, I think White Witch Fina is an extreme disappointment. Um, I don't understand how... I mean, I know this is a constant joke for us uh, on stream, that we believe that uh, Gumi decided to give these characters over like, hey man, um, we got this Halloween event coming up and we need you to make these characters into Halloween characters. And then they, they the person they're talking to happens to be the interns that are working at Gumi. Um, and, yeah. and they spend the minimal amount of time on Sprite, uh, Sprite's making them look good. By the way, have you used uh, Black Kit or Black Pet or whoever to see if maybe the Sprites look better when they're actually in action? Um, I haven't got to use any of them because I just pulled her on stream and then I was farming the Halloween event, but I'll definitely be looking at it and see how it is. Um, Black Cat Lid doesn't look that bad. I think Draco Laswell also doesn't look that bad, but the other okay. two, I, I can't stand. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, <laughs> I could tell from your uh, from your, your banner review with uh, Conehead, uh, Conehead Fina, um, which it, it, I think it's, it's apt... Uh, it's an, an apt uh, assessment of the, uh, the the amount of time it looks like they spent on these these sprites. Um, but back to my original point, I think that uh, for the fact that it's a six star healer, the first six star healer we're getting, and it doesn't have any of the necessary things like Kiraja. I think is a necessary heal as a six star healer. I think Asuna, at least, instead of giving us Poisona and 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 what, what else did they give us? Like Vox, probably? You know, just random yeah, so. random heals. Or, I'm sorry, status ailment heals. I think that was that was a poor choice on them. Like, six star, give her, give her... I think she only has, like, two or three six star abilities. That's all she earns. You know, like, it, it's... It's massively... Underwhelming. Like, she... Rosa is a better healer than she is. You know, like, if, if I had the choice between using her or... Or White Witch Fina, or or uh, freaking Rosalia in WWF. Who would I use? You know what I mean? Exactly. Um, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, and then and then there, of course there's there's the good old five star Rain. Um, the only good side I can see to him besides his TM, I think, is a uh, he will be the first person, the first character we get um, that will have double hand and ability slots unlocked. So we can now find out exactly. If we can stack double hand, because a lot of people were speculating we couldn't do this due to the way the JP side had it. And I, I was one that thought as long as it came from a different source, i.e., you know, uh, an ability that was uh, a trait that was earned or learned, um, and then a, a materia or an equipment that gives it to you, Esper that gives it to you, we should be able to stack the double hands to make them even stronger. Um, what, what are your thoughts on that? 
Um, I do. I believe the same way you do. I think we're going to be able to stack them as long as they come from different things. Same, same with like man eater or another eater ability. We can stack them like that. Right. Uh, however, I don't think we're going to be able to stack them where you're just like TM like three uh, double hands and throw them all in his of course. materia, and then so that, that's how I think it's going to be. Um, with the whole double hand, I'm surprised we don't have somebody with that information already uh, um, out there for us. It'd be nice if we did. That's true. That's um, true. We'll learn soon. We'll learn. We soon. will. I. I think the only reason I would think that people haven't got around to doing it yet is because they had already been under the assumption that you couldn't stack Double Hand. Double Hand, I don't think, has been one of the major TMs that had even been farmed, exactly. really. Yeah, uh, that probably everyone focused on, Yeah, I mean, everyone was focused on dual wheel, blade mastery, uh, lunge combo, you know, things that will automatically increase people's stats that it just, just naturally by putting on dual wheel, you know? Um, mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna find. I'm gonna try to test it myself if I manage to score a five star rain. Um, not that I really, I don't really want him, uh, but I wouldn't mind his TM. I wouldn't mind it for the community's sake to test it to see if he, uh, if he gets uh, a stack from double hand. Because then we we know the future of Garland is brighter. You know, uh, right. For those who like Garland, I'm, I'm a big fan of him, even if I'm not using him currently. Uh, but yeah, since we're talking about TMs here, what, what about these TMs, man? Uh, are they worth it? It's hard. It's it's hard for me to say. Are they worth it? I mean, if you want to have a better bow in your Artemio, sure, Blessed Bow is the way to go. If you want to mm -hmm. put that bow on your healer because it has so much spirit, but I, you know, as a player like myself, I would just rather have a staff on my healer. My healer's not mm -hmm. going to be attacking very much, in my opinion. They're going to be buffing, healing, you know, things like that. Maybe debuffing if they have do have some debuffs. Right. Uh, the Infernal Armlet, it's just. The problem with the Infernal Armlet is that it, it does give you fire resist and earth resist, and it gives you attack 20%, but we got a better TM out of somebody who came in at 4-star base in the Afgarian with the uh -huh. base 30 attack, right? So, uh -huh. people, like, they want it. I mean, it's not bad. I think it's medium, and I think because we have, like, you have to go, you have to take the your brush stroke and go over the broad spectrum here and see what your TMs are, and we already had better TMs in the Infernal Armlet. Easier, they were easier to obtain, right? Yeah. So, at least the character was. And then we look at the Vampire Cloak, and it's just awful for being a uh, chess piece. I don't know who would want to put that on. Because, again, we had Alma mm -hmm. with the magic and the defense and things like that. That had higher stats all the way across the board, and Alma was a three-star unit. So everybody should have an Alma also. Alma had a drop rate that was insane. Looking at the Cat Hat, I, I guess you could have it for, like, a second... Put on your second mage or your second healer, but we always have a circlet that's free to get out of a chest. And right. we have... Um, we have, you know, coming from this event, we have the mask that gives, I think, 30 magic, and yep. that that is insane. So, 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 like, depending on how many mages you're taking, you should already be covered on hats anyway. So, I, a lot of people are hyped for the TMs. For me, not really. Like, mostly skippable. I uh, probably wouldn't farm them unless I didn't have Gafgarian. Maybe I would get the Infernal Armlet, but that's where I would be on that. Okay. No, I can understand that. Um, I mean, I, I, like, I kind of agree the same way. The Infernal Armlet is probably the only one that I'm... If I managed to pull that guy, I would probably farm for it because it is another attack plus 20 that I could stick on, um, say, Lightning or one of my other DPS. Uh, and the defense isn't bad, and it does have some resists. But, um, yeah, the rest of the TMs are pretty much uh, meh for the most part to me. I know. Uh, Vampire, I, it's yeah. The weird thing to me is, Tech, the people were like saying they liked them a lot. It's just, I'm not sure why. Like, I, I I don't know. I don't know. Maybe because people view TMs as their own thing. And maybe they see the Infernal Armlet and they're like, that is a solid TM. But I don't know if, like, that's safe to do because mm -hmm. Demon Rain is a five-star drop. So, like, what we're trying to do when we evaluate these characters, it pretty much all comes down to, especially with TMs, is should I pull and try to get that guy and should I pull and try to get his TM? And right. the answer is no. Because you should yep. have had a Gafgarian from before, right? I mean, that's True. my opinion on it. I don't know. No, the Gafgarian, yeah, I mean, there's a... Uh... There's a link on Reddit somewhere where they have a FF calculator or a BE calculator, and you can plug in all of your, your units. And I, I did that with like Lightning just to see what would be better right now. Um, and so far, Gathgarion's TM Bracer is still top dog, um, even on her. So, right, right. I, I don't know, man. I don't know. I uh, I think that they, they wasted a lot of, uh, a lot of, I don't know, plus... I got a lot of issues with this event. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stop for a second, collect myself. I'm just, just you upset had about with it. The actual Halloween event. No, not not the event. I'm sorry, with the banner, with the banner. The, the banner. event yeah, itself, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, is actually 
It's not that bad. It's not that bad. It could be yeah. worse. The the event? Yeah, the event could be a lot worse than it is. I well, think this is actually pretty nice. I think it's I think very, the event's really strong. You you think it's wrong or strong? Strong, strong. Strong, yeah, strong. I think Okay, yeah. strong. My bad. Uh so yeah, I, I, I mean the you know since we're since I'm already mentioning the event, we'll already go ahead and move on to the event. Uh Okay. I think that the event here, um, it the the amount of uh, candy corns you get, it seems they they were very liberal on giving them out, and I'm I'm kind of pleased by that because it means you don't have a they, do, they sure did. yeah you don't have to do two and weeks of farming. To to just add on to that, the prices of everything in the shop are super low. Like they were like if we were do, if we got the aura site rate still, I I think that's like their fair prices almost in a way. But now that mm -hmm. we're getting like that, you know, you only have to fight one boss because essentially, guys, what this Halloween event is is that you go in, you have two different dungeons you can run. There's uh -huh. one where you fight a, an onslaught of enemies. There's there, and each of them have beginner, intermediate, advanced. And there's one where you fight a lot of enemies and you fight a boss at the end. Um, and then you have another one where you just fight one boss, which is like the pumpkin rider. Okay. Right. And um, from what I understand here is that the advanced version of the pumpkin rider gives you the most bang for your energy, you know, bang for yeah. your buck in terms mm -hmm. of candy. So candy, essentially, yeah. instead of having to fight in like endless waves and then fighting a boss, they gave us somewhere where we could just do advanced uh, pumpkin rider, fight one boss, kill him in so many turns, and get out. And mm -hmm. easy to farm, right? Let's say like, you, you know, before you would have to grind and grind and grind. Now you kill the boss, you kill the boss, you kill the boss, you're out of energy, you're done. And in the end, that gives you like a thousand five hundred fifty. I think is average. Yeah, fifteen. Candy from fifteen it? fifty is about average. Yeah, that's what I've been. Yeah, so. You're gonna be able to get a lot of things you want easily, like easily. Another thing, tech about this and the rewards, the um, the mini burst pots are cheap as hell compared they to what they used much to be. Much compared, much cheaper. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. yeah I, when I saw that, I was like, oh, I'm actually gonna buy these this time. Like last time, I I think I was a little lazy when the I think it was was it the mod cakes. That's the last time we had mini burst pots, right? It wasn't on order side. I think it was yeah the the mod cakes. I was extremely lazy on that one. I. I looked at some of the items. I was like, "Yeah, I'm not worried about those," because uh, I, I got tired of doing the exploration for the most part. On this one, the amount of uh, ore site that we're, or not ore site candy corn that we're getting, uh, it definitely makes even even the not not just the the, the limit pots, but also the additional five star mats that you can buy for five forty. It's not a big deal to me. You only I can think you can only purchase five more at five forty price um, of each of them. And that's still not bad for me. Like that's probably another day of farming. So sure. yeah, for sure. Depending on what your rank is, you know. I know that the advanced version is eighteen energy, but I mean you're getting a thousand five hundred fifty. You know, I haven't done the math yet, or I haven't done my event guide. You know, on the whole math and how much you have to farm things like that. But mm -hmm. it just seems like really, really good. It seems like the drop rates per energy that you spend is insane right now. And uh, I really, really, really like this event. Even for free to play players, I, I feel like it's good. It's good to go. Like, like yeah. you, you are going to be able to grind it. Now, it's, you're not going to get the rank experience we got from the last one, but you're going to be able to get the what you want. I think from the materials because you're just going to be able to get more again, more materials for your energy than we did last time and, and you have two weeks to do this tech yeah yeah two weeks true. to do this man this is true man i completely agree i think uh it looks like uh the only thing that i don't like about the event is i kind of like i guess the the uh the first part where we're fighting the waves i kind of find that a little more enjoyable than the boss because uh Sometimes you you, know, you gotta you have to manage your resources and how much MP you're gonna spend per boss uh, or I'm sorry sure, per wave. Sure. Um, so I find it slightly more strat strategic uh, on that one. Uh, I just wish that they. I, don't know, I wish there was I more think... of a challenge involved in that one too. I like challenges. Right, yeah. right, right. I I'm I'm actually not really sure why Gumi decided to make two dungeons that were just dungeons, and one be way longer than the other and actually give less. Mm -hmm. Candy, uh, kind of on average in a way. I think the other one still drops about the same. So I guess you could run one or the other. Um, you know, I don't, I don't have the exact numbers on me, but like, I, I don't know why they made two. Because you're obviously going to run the quicker. I think most people are going to run the quicker one to just get it done and get out. You know what I mean? That's what I would think. They would run the boss and kill the boss and get out. So mm -hmm. maybe, maybe, maybe they should have made the longer one give a little bit more candy uh, mm -hmm. for your energy, in my opinion. And that way, if you wanted to farm, if you wanted the more of a challenge, if you wanted to fight the waves and not be done quickly, you could put your time in. But right. you could also, if you didn't have time, you had to work, you had a wedding to go to, you need to get to a movie, you could quickly run and beat that boss, get the candy you needed and get out and wait for your energy to refill. That's the way 
I think maybe they meant to do it like that. I'm, I'm just maybe. I'm just really confused why they have two different dungeons. Here, what you know I, what I mean? Like it just yeah. seems weird. What I'm wondering is I I, I think I the advanced uh, rider one that was what 450 rank exp for 18 energy. Is that right? Does it does something it ring like that. something like that? I don't remember how yeah, much. Yeah, it's, like it's like twenty thousand. It's like twenty thousand unit experience. So yeah. So I mean, it wasn't very good for like if you wanted to rank farm, uh, compared to like especially compared to the freaking FFT event. I don't think anything is going to compare to that now. That map I'm looking at, but right. unless the the one where that was a longer the longer battle uh, was it fifteen yeah. waves for the advance. I don't remember how much rank EXP you got for doing that one. Because uh, I think I only ran it once, uh, so mm -hmm. um, that's why I'm, all, I'm also curious if those if those give more rank EXP uh, compared to um, the other ones, so that you know people who want to farm rank stuff instead of just doing the candy corn form. Um, once they're done, can they do rank EXP doing the advanced uh, waves? I forget what the hell that one's called right now for some sure. reason. Um, yeah, um, that'll be something to look into for sure. Yeah. Um, so one of the things a lot of people are asking is, you know, we, we, we had the data mind information tech, and one of the things people ask is, where where's our pro? Where's our <laughs> pro version? I want that uh, death scythe. Yes, the death scythe. I want scythe. that reward. And the answer to that is, I, I, from what I've read on Reddit, there was a Taiwanese uh, official Final Fantasy Brave Exodus, I think it was Taiwanese, uh, Final Fantasy Brave Exodus page released this information. They said on the 27th, you guys are going to be getting pro. Also on the 27th, you'll be getting the next new island or next new, like, story event part. You're mm -hmm. also going to be getting the Great Daemon, or the Great Demon, whatever it's called, the next trial. Mm -hmm. So on the 27th, more, a lot more content hitting us in the face. So that's where Pro Guys is, if you guys are wondering. There will be a harder, uh, just for the Pumpkin Rider, I do believe. So we'll fight, have to fight a harder Pumpkin Rider, and our, our one-time finish reward for that will be Death Scythe. Um, Tech, do you know do you know much about this Death Scythe? Or? Um, the Death Scythe, if I remember correctly, was uh, 80 attack. Um... I think it was 80, right? Uh, 80 attack and... 70 attack. Say 70? All right, my bad. 70 yeah, attack. So I'm, I'm trying to remember it here. Uh -huh. I know it has a AoE uh, ability called, like, Reap Blood. I think That's I think it, that was yep. it called. Yeah, it does, like... Uh, yeah. It's AoE. I think it's 30% uh, drain from all enemies, and it's got, like, a 0. 0.8 times modifier on it or something like that. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's... um it. It seems like it's a decent ability if you're trying to just get your health back um, with that scythe. Plus, it's not bad. It's not bad damage for a spear. Um, exactly. If you go on the cane, useful. everybody's yep, getting cane level five star. Throw that bad yep. boy on him. Strong. Yep. Strong. So, so. Um, it's definitely something you don't want to miss out on if you can't no, no. be pro. We don't know how hard pro is going to be. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm excited <sighs> to see if it's going to be rough. If it's going to be elite, because like. I don't know if pro like in this it will be the new elite. And I'll put that in quotation marks. You know, like is this the new elite? Is pro the new elite, or is pro just going to be the way pro was before? And it'll be a cakewalk for many people. I don't know. We'll have to wait right. and see. No, yeah, I'm, I'm curious about that too. Because I mean, uh, how many turns does it take you to beat uh, the pumpkin rider, on average? It depends on what friend I bring him, but on average two. Okay. All right. So it sounds if I have about a right. good lightning friend, it'll be one. One turn. All right. So for those who don't have teams uh, for let's like, say like we look at free to play players would they be able mm -hmm. to beat the pro version if cuz the the damage um, mitigation on that guy is, his defense is crazy um, for regular yeah, it's characters it's crazy you can't even use you, uh, like uh, lowering his um, attack or defense doesn't work on him but he can be broken in terms of magic and yep. spirits and things like uh, peril things like you know any kind of uh, magic uh, spirit break will work on him so right. for people who are struggling maybe in the advanced version that's something you want to look into he is a plantoid um he's a plantoid so uh if for its plant killer that you guys should have on your esper that's going to help you so maybe you want on your strongest physical damage unit you're going to want to throw your uh if back on because uh -huh. he is plantoid he is going to take some more damage from that and he's uh, also uh weak to fire and holy so yes. maybe your excalibur and your churi jiraiden are going to work for you if you don't have those you should have the churi jiraiden from the last event that is going to give you some fire damage so you kind of want to do some fire you know fire elemental chains imperil him first fire elemental chain him out of the fight another mechanic he has though tech is he will throw pumpkin bombs on you and you got three turns or you're dead so there's something That's like true. that happening there there is that um, i thought that was kind of kind of funny uh, it's it's funny, and they gave a way to fight around it though. The survivor um, with flask. The, these, yeah, the survivor flask. Yeah, tech, tell us about the survivor flask. Uh, it delays your, I think, the death counter by three turns. 
So if he casts that on there, instead of getting the three turn countdown, it should stop it by another three turns. So you get six turns instead of three to uh, to kill him, if I'm not mistaken, correct? Right, right, right. So, yeah, so for people who are struggling with him, you guys can use those survival flasks, which you get as uh, completion bonuses for the other dungeon. So for the long, you know, the long dungeons where at the end you fight like a random boss on the advanced version and the beginner and intermediate, you'll get them from there. You can also purchase them from the Moogle King. And what that's going to do is it's going to let the fight go out long, last longer. I don't think he actually hits that hard. No. Nah. Uh, right, Tech? He doesn't really yeah, hit that hard. So that hard. it's pretty much you're playing a mini game of not letting death go off and trying to kill him in time. So I think yeah. it's definitely doable by most players. They just have to get in there and use strategy to take him down. Now, as the uh, the pro version, like you were saying, for uh, normal players, uh, you know, free-to-play players or maybe just tiny dolphin whalers or people who don't have the greatest teams, I don't know how it's going to be. We're going to have to wait and see and see how hard it is. But it seems like this, the general strategy is to use fire on him, break down his magic resist, and uh, just start uh, chaining fire damage on him. It seems pretty good. Yep, yep. That, that does seem like the best plan. Um, the only other time that you can use a, the light strategy, I think, is definitely for Excalibur. Um, I know I ran yeah. it with uh, two lightnings at one point uh, a few times, and um, using Crushing Blow uh, on both lightnings was just amazing damage. Like, he just melts uh, because of the um, freaking uh, element chain on Excalibur. So... Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, on the same note, we could also talk about the, the... I don't know if anybody's actually running the wave one since that other one has more candy corns. But some of those fights can actually be pretty devastating if you don't have a good... Uh, like the, Especially the 15 wave one. Like I even had one of my characters yeah. get taken down uh, be, during... I think it was the one, the, the armor guys with the, the big axe. Uh, mm -hmm. Or the, the halberd. Um, they went nuts on one of my dude like a huge aoe damage really? and yeah and they just killed one i think it was kefka of course it was kefka um gotcha. yeah he just went he got slaughtered um so some of those fights can be challenging too for anybody who wants to get in there and you know do that plus i think there's like three boss fights for it so it's kind of cool yeah there's three you'll fight like um the first two bosses you fight intermediate and beginner and then it will give you a random last boss fight i don't know out of who how many it could be there it could be like the pumpkin kid mm -hmm. who's also a plantoid or it could be um i can't remember the other guy's name but it's like another boss remember. right so i think it's one of the two at least yeah um and but like the one like most of the bosses can be raised and killed or phoenix down to kill but you can't right. do that to the pumpkin kid no it's so like bone dragon bone dragon can be raised and killed i think mm -hmm. uh, pumpkin kid cannot he's a demon plantoid just like the um, pumpkin Rider, they have the same, you know, they're a demon and plant soy, so the plant killer can work on them. Right. But I cannot remember for the life of me what that other boss is. I actually ran into that boss, and I was wondering why nobody was talking about it, but it, it, there's another boss in there. I think he could be killed by raise too. Okay. So, you know, taking a, taking a raise person there could help you get through it, uh, these bosses really quick by just killing them with raise, which would yeah. be pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I, I think the only one I've ran into, actually, I haven't ran into the pumpkin kid yet. Um, uh, mainly I haven't either. I, yeah, I've ran into the was Mahadeva, I think that's his name. That's him. Yeah, that's him. I ran that's into him. him. Yeah, and he uh, he was fun. I killed him pretty quick. I didn't I didn't even think about the raise thing because I assumed they wouldn't be doing that again after um, the FF uh, four event. But I guess this is a thing. Right. We're going to be able to kill people with raise yeah. quite often. Yep. Yeah, and it does appear that a lot of people, uh, a lot of the waves in that fight, I think they're also, um, they have fire resist down, like a lot of the enemies. So if we're looking uh -huh. at, like, um, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at these, uh, yeah, they all have, like, 50% down um, in fire resist. So you guys, you guys want to chain fire damage, so you want to use Fagra, things like that, maybe have your be casting Fagra, and it should uh -huh. be killing these waves off pretty easy, because they have negative 50% resist to fire, and that's yep. every enemy that you can fight in there. So, yep. I mean, as far as, like, the, um... I think it's as far as everybody in this event, actually, they are weak to fire. So fire is yeah. going to be fire good. Fire, fire good. good. Yep, that cheer, uh, cheery Jaradin, uh is going to put it uh, put in some work again. So that's that's sure. that's a nice thing. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, the Mod King events, though. Uh, the the consumables they have. Um, there a there's a bunch of items you can buy here. Um, what is it, like Phoenix Downs, elixirs, and this is this is a great time to get your Phoenix Down stocked up after the FF4 event if. Anybody went crazy uh, doing uh, doing the tower. Um, I think they was how much did they cost? Like two, three hundred? I'm un I'm unsure. I, I actually haven't got to look at the items and how much they cost, but like okay. most of them. But I do know that like they're they're def definitely low and definitely worth getting. They're um, you know because like uh, we talked about before, Phoenix Downs are super rare. 
Mm -hmm. they're, not, they're not renewable. They're not nope. renewable at this point. You gotta buy them with Star Core. So I'd ra much rather be trading in some useless candy corn instead of my baby Star Quartz I never want to get rid of. Oh, I agree. Star Quartz, uh, I'm buying earrings right now and that stuff, so... Do I really yeah. want to waste them on uh, Phoenix Downs? Hell to the no, man. There's like, I think this event gives 10 of every item except for like Gigantars and, uh, and of course the, uh, when you start moving into the six star match, you can get like 20, no, is it 15? It makes 15. Um, either way, so you can get a, uh, or maybe it is 20. I forget. Anyway, uh, so you can get, uh, elixirs, you can get high, or Phoenix, Phoenix Downs, um, remedies, turbo ethers, X potions, it's so many. Tents, uh, which I'm tired of making those things or buying them, whichever. I want to save my guild for later, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm a cheap bastard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then you have a whole bunch of uh, crafting materials. Um, or not crafting, I'm sorry. It's more like uh, awakening materials. Um, holy crystals, sacred crystals, all the five-star awakening mats for... Uh, I'm not going to say... It's not like... The five-star awakening mats for like Kane or Rydie or anybody who has a new awakening. Um, right, plus right. Uh, so it's, it's six stars. Match you can get for yep. Yeah, and then you have exactly. to, this is what everybody's been waiting for was those six star materials to come back. And the way it's going to work here is you're going to be able to buy up to a certain amount of them for cheap tech. You're going to get a certain yeah. amount of them, and then you're going to hit a limit, and then it's going to cost you a lot. It's going to cost you a lot more than it was for your first uh, your oh, first yeah. buys here. Oh yeah, the first ones are 160, and the second uh, once you've hit, you've cleared out all the 160 ones, and then it's 540, and that's that's expensive. That's very expensive. Um, it is. But uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, I guess it's it looks, um, it, it, like it sounds expensive. But think about it. One like let's think about it now. One run of advanced uh, pumpkin rider gets you almost three of those. This is true. This that's is true. actually not that bad. No, you this event is insane. Quick. It is. It's it's not bad. The the event has some yeah. very good rewards, man. Plus. Um, after we, we, we move past Awakening Mats, we have all the exclusive stuff, man. We get two Trust Moguls from this thing. That's yeah, nice. A lot of people are upset with how much they cost, and they're saying it's not worth it. But it's, they're, they're saying it's true that, like, their argument is if you TM farm that, you know, if you compare TM farming to, to energy you spent on the event and how much candy corn you get, TM farming will net you possibly, I think it was like 5 to 8% more. Right, if you just want the TM farm with that energy as opposed to spending the energy and spending the candy corn and buying the, the trust moogles. But the trust moogles are instant gratification and they're guaranteed percentages. There's a chance that you spend that energy and you never, that doesn't happen. You don't get the 15% uh, TM. Mm -hmm. You don't get the 18% like they projected to get. RNG can bite you in the ass and you only get 7%. This so, is true. This is very true. Yeah. Trust, fa trust master farming is, uh, is boring and um, unreliable sometimes. Uh, Whereas trust moguls, that is a straight ten percent um, drop to your to your progress, and or ten percent increase to your progress. So yeah, and you're and you're paying for instant gratification too. So yeah. um, instantly you're going to get that ten percent up. So in the energy, um, you know, the math might not be there. The RNG is RNG. It could bite you in the ass. So yeah, you know, variance is variance. So I think I think. Maybe the first one's worth it. The second one maybe not worth it at all. Mm. But uh, we'll have to wait and see. Do the I math. Mean, I, I'm gonna get it, Tech. I don't know oh, you yeah, want too. There's just yeah, no yeah. way. Yeah, yeah. But as far as the math's concerned, maybe that's that's where the math takes us. I don't know. True, true. I mean, uh, but then either way, we'll 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 cross that bridge when we get there. We have uh, next For up sure. though. We have the items. Um, of course, you have yeah, your regular yeah. star quartz. You have your your summon tickets, which I think they were was it two five seven uh, ten. Is it ten of them? Yeah, so we get ten tickets, um, mm -hmm. which is actually better than I think the last events. They've been giving us what nine? I think it was nine from I the think, other event. I mean, it, I think, but we could be misremembering. But I think it, I think it, it is be. better. I think we are getting more. And yeah. just so you guys know, PSA: don't spend your freaking tickets on this banner. Don't do it. Save them. You're yep. gonna regret. I think you're gonna regret. It. The hard part is they're, they're they're having this banner last two weeks, and the pull to summon is strong. It it's is strong. But try to it fight is. it. Try to yeah. save these tickets. Um, that's, I, that's just my that's that's what I would do if tickets you know if I wasn't paying to play this game if I was a free to play player I would save my tickets for another band. Now if you're having fun you don't give a crap you just want to you want to pull Halloween uh, units because you love them you're more than welcome to do that. But as far as like a strategic standpoint I don't think you should summon this banner. I don't think you should use it. Okay, I can I can I can kind of stand behind that man. Um, uh. 
Yeah, I personally don't really like. I'm gonna do one one eleven pull on this thing, and I'm pretty much not doing many more pulls besides the the regular Howard daily pull because I still want my Miyuki. Um, since she, uh -huh. you know. <laughs> anyway, uh, but we have uh, I think yeah, definitely save your tickets. There, there should be better or better banners coming up in the future. Um, we still haven't got our Tailleth banner. We still haven't got. Um, the, the next lightning banner. Um, there are lots of Which things you can be the save for. New ones coming out, hopefully. Exactly. The first ones we're getting. Yeah, so, uh, but either way, then we also have the kitchen knife, the candy basket, the creepy mask, and the two auras, um, plus the burst pots. Um, so, right, right, right. the knife, is that worth buying? Um, I'm going to say, if you have a Dark Knight Cecil at Sherwood's Eye Roll, one of the viewers I think you know too, was talking mm -hmm. about how you kind of want that knife, because it, for this event specifically, um, you know, you can't damage with Dark Knight Cecil if they resist the dark, right? But you mm -hmm. can put this knife on, and you gain stab, you gain access to stab. It's, it's an attack 52 knife, or dagger, or whatever it is, and it's, you know, not that impressive with 52, but mm -hmm. the, 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 it's physical damage 1.8 times, it ignores the defense for 25%. You know, it's okay. It's gonna do. It's gonna do a good amount of damage. I think in the future it might be usable. And overall, it just seems like, you know, it's it's a it's a fluff thing for Final Fantasy lovers. I mean, this is the, this is obvious. I think it's a Tomberry knife. What do you yes, think? Yes, the Tomberry knife. Think yes, it's the Tomberry knife. Indeed. Yes. So I, I I am for sure getting it. Like it's just, you know, but the, the, for uses, it's it is a dagger. So you know, for uses, if you have Dark Knight Cecil, you can throw it on him. If perhaps you need a weapon and you don't want to do elemental damage, your your unit that you have does elemental damage. Stab isn't the worst thing you could do. You know, right. stab isn't the worst ability you can use. Right. Now, All ranking right. these things in the order that you should get them, Creepy Mask mm -hmm. is way on top. Okay. Way on top. Indeed. Best okay. mask you can get for uh, a mage, right? Right. It, yeah, no. it's a hat. It's the best you can get on mage. I don't even think in the Japanese version they have a better helmet or helm or, you know, whatever you want to call it, a helmet equipment for a mage. You're getting magic plus 30, mm -hmm. MP plus 15, defense plus 15. And you gain access to Boo, which is an mm -hmm. ability you can use. Um, yeah. Magic and paralyze 50% to all enemies. So, I don't know how much I'd be using Boo. Um, I don't know how much I'd be using that, but the magic plus story is where it's at, Tech. That's insane, yeah. that's an insane yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, it is, it really thing. is. I completely agree. The uh, the mat, or the mask itself is, uh, or that hat, it, it's it's a damn good hat, man. Uh, plus 30, defense, I mean, it's, it's, it's everything you want for a mage, it really is. Um, then you also have what the next one you would probably buy is what the candy basket. I think the candy basket would be my second one up. Yeah, it's okay. an accessory. Um, you get magic plus fifteen percent, spirit plus fifteen percent. So mm -hmm. this is going to be better on your mages than the hero ring. Hero rings mm -hmm. only putting up your magic by ten percent, right? Mm -hmm. And it's going to keep going to healer too with the spirit plus fifteen percent. Seems pretty strong with the magic also. Mm -hmm. And you gain access to the ability treat, which is another one of those ones that I don't think that's great. Nope. It heals one target for 600 HP, three times multiplier, and it's only on one target. So I don't know how much you're going to be using Treat. But overall, the candy basket, yeah, you want to get it. Um, it's better than a hero ring, which means you definitely should be picking it up if an accessory is that good. Mm -hmm. Get it, put it on your mage. It's not as good as the earrings we can buy with Star Quartz because mm -hmm. the earrings give you the 20% magic, right? It's 20% right. magic up on yeah. the earrings. So. But, I mean, to get the candy basket for just candy corn, not having to spend those special, those special Star Quartz, Pretty damn good thing. You should definitely be picking that up too. Yeah, I actually I think I'm gonna be putting this on my uh, on my healer to be honest, uh, because yeah. Yeah, yeah, the magic and the spirit uh, those both combine to increase the amount that you're healing for either way. Exactly. So mm -hmm. it should be. I, I think it's gonna be more beneficial on the uh, on the on, on a healer. Um, but hey, you guys do what you do. You know, I um, mean, of course, then yeah, you can buy your knife afterwards, which I it's the strongest knife that's out there, if I'm not mistaken. I think the highest knife we have, uh, ooh, I can't remember dagger. what it's called right now. Yeah, some, it's some dagger that was, yeah, I can't remember. I, it, it blows my mind. I think that's the main gouch. I think is the, the strongest one we have, if yeah. I'm not mistaken. Um, but uh, either way, uh, it's a good, it's not a bad weapon. It's not a bad weapon. Um, and it's free for the most part. You just have to farm it up. So, uh, it's definitely not a bad choice for anybody who doesn't have, you know, enhancer and all that other stuff. Or even if you do have enhancer, you just want to make a team with, a more stuff now. Are you getting not down on these uh, these burst limit pots, man? I'm I'm gonna buy them all. I mean, if they're so cheap, I'll get them this time. But uh, 
I don't know, man. Raising a liver bread. There are strategies out there right now that people are coming up with where pretty much it's like you, you can make a macro for it if you guys do macro out there where you just fight a, you fight an enemy and it just you just let it break over and over and over and over and over and over and you just leave it alone. You just come like check up on it like you would a uh, macro team. So, you know, there's that. This is, again, instant gratification. You get it. You, you level up your dude. How many how many limit? Do you know how many mini burst pots we can buy? I think it's like thirty. Um. Yeah. I think I think it's thirty. I believe so too. I can check so they, again. Do they get a hundred each? So it's three thousand experience. Uh. Yeah. Should be about three thousand experience. Yeah. So yeah, that's, so I mean, that's not bad. It's not gonna shake a stick at, but I mean. Yeah. Um. That's as far one as level, people right? who are keeping their three star Cecils down, what was that? That's one level at five star. If you've messed up like I did. Yeah, so, it's one whole level. So, yeah, yeah I mean, that's, a, that's a hell of a lot of stuff there, so yeah. not bad, not bad. Yeah, um... For sure. Yeah, so, I mean, I, either way, I think I think the items that we... The rewards we're getting from this are definitely uh, worth it. Plus, you know, Star Quartz, you can always use that stuff. It's, it's great to save those things up. Um, besides that, uh... What else have we got going on in this uh, this week? I can't really think of anything um, else. There's two more things we didn't, we didn't discuss. Uh... You know, those auras, the chilling aura, the spooky aura. Oh, yes. Right, those things. Yeah. So, guys, if you're looking to buy these, first thing you need to know is that they can only be equipped to the Halloween units. They can't go on anybody else. They're Halloween unit-specific material. They can't be equipped to anybody else. However, if you were to pull a Halloween unit and you're going to use them, these auras are pretty damn good. I mean, attack mm -hmm. plus 13%, magic plus 13%. Very, very yeah. strong. Very nice, hero yeah. ring, and you get magic and attack in one, so maybe you throw that on your Draco as well. Mm -hmm. You know, things like that. You do a little bit more attack, you do a little more damage with his Blizzard spells, things like that. And there's Chilling Aura, more of like a tank and a, and a healer, you know, aura in my opinion. You get HP plus 13%, MP plus 13%. Very good mm -hmm. overall. You're getting MP, you're getting HP too. But I don't think I'm running Finna ever, uh, no. WWF, so I don't know. I don't know about no. that Chilling Aura, possibly on Rain. If you get Rain, you don't have that great of a tank, and you know, he's your best six star tank you can have. Throw those on him, make his HP insane. I know one of our viewers had a really, really high, like 6,700 or something HP, uh, Drake, not Draco, but Demon Rain. So his HP stack can go through the roof. Cool yeah, stuff. that that beats my Cecil at 60, uh, 60, 70. So um, that's pretty good. That's pretty damn good. Yeah. 6,700, that's crazy. Um, Yeah, I, I, I personally, I'm probably going to buy them either way. Uh, just in case, you know, uh, sometime during the event I get one, um, and then I'll just be sad if I don't get one, you know, and I can't use it, so mm -hmm. waste of my time. But uh, I definitely think, yeah, getting those, they can be, it can, it, I just find it odd, that, or not odd, I guess I understand the, the symbolic reference to the 13%, you know, for Friday the 13th and whatnot, but uh, yeah, I, true. yeah true. It, just, it was I didn't weird. I think of that, actually. That's awesome that you said that. I never thought of that. Yeah. You bastard! That's awesome, dude. Nice job. Crazy, dude. crazy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, at first I was like, man, those are some weird numbers to uh, to stop on. But yeah, okay, thirteen. I get it now. Makes sense. Um, besides that, I guess the the biggest part that's coming up will be next week when we can do our uh, our pro. I'm really looking forward to the pro, pro side. Get our scythe. See how much better that is energy wise for candy corn, but I'm I'm assuming by then a lot of people will actually be done with the event. To be honest, probably. Anyway, I guess you're never done with the event though. If you want to grind six star materials forever, you can. Right? There's no there's no limit. They just cost um, a shit ton. More. I'm gonna right? check actually in game because I, I could have sworn when I looked at it, it said something about you can only pick up five, and I was a little confused. Oh, from the um, from the actual, the actual ones that cost a lot. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm checking right now. Oh wow, Let's okay, see. okay, that's cool. Well, that makes it better. Um, so, like, I was about to say, like, why would you ever stop farming if you could just keep going? Oh, no, no. You could keep going. You can keep going. Never you mind. You can go forever? You can go okay, forever. Okay, so, like, yes. if you're bored and you don't want anything else to do it, you don't mind grinding, you could just buy as many as you want, guys. So, yep. like, you know how you guys were thirsty stock for up. them when you wanted to get your C's little six star? You can just stock up if you want to. But I will say go. we will be able to get these again in every uh, Moogle King you know, uh, currency trading event where we have to go to the Mod King, trade yep. in some currency. They're going to be there for you. So it's really up to you how you want to spend your energy. If you have other things you want to work on, uh, things like that. Um, you know, I'll tell you the one thing I'm most happy about getting from this guy is the Metal Gigantuars attack. Like, jeez, yes, please, I need them so I, bad. I've already <laughs> went through this thing, man. I bought all of the uh, all the consumables already um, up to... You've uh, you already bought them all. Already you bought them all. Crazy. Bro, I bought all the consumables. I got up... I bought all the Sacred Crystals, Holy Crystals. Um, 
I'm working my way down the list. I already bought 47 Metal Gigantars. Um, I bought all Star Quartz, Phoenix Downs, uh, freaking Summon Tickets. Well, no, not all the Summon Tickets. I need to buy the last set of Summon Tickets, the uh, last two sets. Um, but I'm working my way, man. I'm already going crazy on this thing. So, That's awesome, dude. Yeah, I right before... Meant, like, I think after my stream, I did a little bit early this morning. I woke up at, like, 5 a.m. for some reason. I couldn't help myself. I had to do the event. But right mm -hmm. now, I think I'm at, like, 85,000. And from what I've been hearing is apparently you can, can you I, I don't know the exact number on how to get everything. I think somebody was mm -hmm. saying like two hundred thousand. So if I'm at eighty k in the first day, in the first like five hours, like is that pot? Like is, are you sure everything costs two hundred k? Like I'll have, to, I'll have to do some math on that. I'm, but if that's I'm true, looking, I'm just like done. According to what uh, has been recommended, if you're buying the the recommended items that are say on the wiki, they recommend the candy basket, creepy mask, the rare summon tickets, and the tr one trust mogul. That's one hundred and three thousand. And then if you're going the second priority items of Elixir, Phoenix Down, Scream Roots, Star Quartz, Kitchen Knife, Trust Mogul, again, that's another 88200 mm. So okay. just to buy the rest of that stuff, which is pretty cheap for the most part, unless you're going unless you're going through the route of getting all of the mini burst pots. Mini burst pots alone, that's that's gonna be a little hefty. Uh yeah. not that bad. I mean that's gonna take it's you not about that bad though. It's been like but I mean I am energy refilling, which is obviously you know, most people aren't going to do that, but right. it's just, it just seems like a great event, man. It's just all around good event. Yeah. Be here for two weeks. So people were complaining like, oh no, I have to grind again. Like, I think you might be done with your grinding before the week is up. Maybe Probably. a week and a half and then you get back to doing whatever the hell you want to do. Even for yeah. the people who don't energy refill. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's, it's looking good, man. It's looking good. It's, I'm not too disappointed. I just want, I want the challenge. I want my pro level. I, That's I understand all I want. exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. yeah. We'll see that next week. And then you'll get a challenge. Hopefully the. The trial is pretty hard. I, I don't know. True. We'll see about that. And the storyline. I don't know if we'll be getting any Carbuncle in the storyline or not because I don't know much about the Japanese releases, things like that. But the next Esper is Carbuncle. So the next Maybe Esper is Carbuncle. I don't know. That, that is exciting for me because then I can switch out Shiva finally um, and, and give it to. But what that was. We're not going to talk. We're not going to rehash nah, all the wounds. No. <laughs> all right. All right well. Um, on that note, I guess we'll move into the Q and A section of our uh, of the show. So uh, go ahead and drop some questions if you got some. Um, I'm just I'm just gonna I'm gonna comment what Godzilla just said. You want a challenge for a five star? <laughs> <laughs> this guy. The challenge of a Halloween event. Pull a five star. All right, thank yeah. you, Gumi. Thanks. Yeah. We yeah. love that one. Yeah. We love this it. guy. <laughs> Freaking Godzilla. Hilarious, dude. Carbuncle is a Pokemon. I mm, okay. Um, that seems like a good one. A Carbuncle is a Pokemon. Do I have that card on me right now? I do. Uh, no, it's Carbink. I have Carbink. Car uh, so. I actually have that card on me right now. Okay. I'm 27 years old, Shadow. I'm an old yep. man. There you go. Um, house, I'm um, not even, nope, not, not even doing that one. All right, let's see here. Top uh, three physical characters now to have. Uh, Lightning, Dark Knight, Cecil, Delita, right? Yes. That sounds right to me. Maybe Laswell. No, I think, I think Delita's still better than Laswell. But, um, what's your first mobile game? What was your first mobile game, Tech? My first mobile game was, uh, Final Fantasy Record Keeper. I'm still playing it to this day. Uh, nice. what was yours? My, my first one was Summoner's War. Okay, all right. Summoner's War yeah. never got down, but um, man, these, this thing's moving too much for me. I see one. Damn it! I'm gonna have to click up here. I got one. Um, how how do you think the lightning rate will be with the new lightning banner? Moosehead uh, from Moosehead Jones. The lightning rate will be exactly the same as all other five star rates. They're never yep. in, like as far as I know, they don't increase the light the rainbow drop rate. The lightning will probably be fifty percent chance to get when you get a rainbow. Get a rainbow. So you're you're always gonna be hit with that that hard. You know, smack in the face brick wall that you have to get a rainbow to drop. Yep. Pretty much. Uh, it's also, I think it's also going to be a little worse because we'll also have, unless they split the banner up, which I'm hoping they'll continue to do, where they split it up and it'll be like lightning and some other people and then snow mm -hmm. and saws and vanilla and all them. Um, I hope they split okay. the banners up so this way we're not trying to fight for two crystals um, or fighting for two drops in the same, you know, Crystal pool. What would the two drops be? Um, I mean, it's possible. I think Snow isn't Snow a five star base. He's he's four star. Wait, base. is he four star base? Okay, well, never mind then. Yeah, he's similar to, to Finn. Yeah, so it won't be that bad, man. I'm telling you. Okay, it won't be that bad. it's not that bad. Yeah, never mind. Just, yeah. 
All right. Um, mm -hmm. how do you think? Okay, I read that one. Uh, can you stack the auras? Um, I do not believe you can stack the auras. Uh, I think I it works the same. Actually. You think you can? I assumed you yeah, could. Yeah, I think uh, the picture of the rain, the demon rain. He had both of the HP ones on him, and it was working for him. Really? So. Okay. Well, shit. Yep. Never mind. <laughs> All right. Um. We have a question here. I am confused about physical damage and physical elemental damage. Um, all that means is... Okay, so physical damage will apply off of your attack stat. Physical elemental damage will also deal physical damage and, and it go off your attack stat, but it has the added bonus of, do, of that element on top of it. So let's say something is weak to fire, uh, weak to, you know, ice, things like that. You're going to do the... Uh, you're going to do, like, more damage to it, right? It's going to amplify due to that uh, resist. If it resists, it's also going to do less damage. And you can chain off of it. You can elemental chain off of it. But it's still physical damage. Yep. It's not magic damage. It's still physical damage. Yep. Pretty, pretty good. Um, there's another question I saw on here. Uh, does double hand stack, have we found out yet? Don't know yet, bro. <laughs> Don't, Don't know. know yet. We haven't seen it anywhere. I wish we could have that answer for you because we're definitely really itching to see, but we don't have that answer yet. I'm sure it'll show up on Reddit. If you guys are a follower of the Reddit, the subreddit, you guys will figure that out soon. I hope someone's out there welling that up and figuring it out for us. Um, it's... when is the new banner coming? Uh, it'll be here. This banner runs for two weeks, so it'll be here right after the. You know, it'll be here in two weeks. So this banner starts two weeks later. We'll get a new banner. That's how that works. Yeah. If you want to know the exact date, give me a second. Uh, the next banner should be dropping on the 29th. No. Take it back, because it'd be 28. It'll be the 4th of November. That should be the next banner. If this banner is running for two weeks, uh, so it should go. Yeah. 4th of November should be when the next banner hits. Um, I saw one over here. It was about... Uh, no, that was the one you just answered. What else we got, man? What else we got? Uh, what's that, man? What's the one that bad Will we have there? BF banner after this, or is it still unknown? Still unknown, Destro. People are actually starting to get scared we won't get the BF banner ever, which makes me sad. Oh, somebody said that the wiki is saying that it stacks. The wiki say it stacks? Double hand? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I mean, that might be an answer there. I don't think they'd put false information, but again, other people can post on there, so maybe post someone... Post whatever they want, yep. I don't know. Yeah. That's true. If they do uh, this sort of banner for uh, Christmas, what units should uh, should be Christ or Christmized, Christmasized, whatever? Uh... <laughs> I mean, it seems like they like doing story characters. Um, I would love yeah, to see a yeah. I, I would love to see a character or like a, a Christmas themed snow, you know, or a, a Christmas themed lightning or a Christmas themed freaking warrior of light. Uh, I would love to see stuff like that. I would get down on a Shantoto with a freaking Santa hat on and a full yeah, Santa I know. Suit, something like you know? that, something cool like that for sure. That, I, I, I've, I've had enough, but the thing that bothers me, the thing, like you said, they seem to love story characters, like with the bikini ones in Japan, and now we're getting the um, yep. the uh, Halloween ones, which are also story characters. That's kind of scary. Yeah, it's 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 not. Uh, I'm not a big fan of these uh, these characters um, that they give us for the for especially for the Halloween thing. I think they could have been they could have been better. They could have been better. Um, but anyway, what characters are both of you? Are you both uh, looking forward to it? What? What, what character are you both looking thing. forward to? Um, yeah. Orlando, and way down Tetis. the road. Yes, I know you want Tidus, but my my the super one besides Orlando because I love Final Fantasy Tactics. FF11 Prish. I don't know if you know who Prish yeah. is. I think I think Prish is going to be your your Titus. You yeah. know, I love Titus so much. Yeah. I think Prish is going to be the one you're going to go for hard. I I, I love Prish. Uh, she's a fantastic character from uh, Change of Promathia on Final Fantasy XI, um, the MMO. Uh, she was she's just an amazing monk, and I'm um, I think she has a badass TM on the JP side. She's just she's overall just an amazing character. So I'm really looking forward to her. Uh, go ahead. You want to? Um. Maybe we'll look for one more question here. All right. Um, would you recommend putting a candy basket on a healer? Yes. Yes. I think so. I think it's what we decided was that the healer would almost be the best one for it. 
Yeah. Um, because of the spirit and the magic are both used on the healer. So yeah, it sounds pretty good to do that. That's what yeah. I'll probably do too. Yeah, my, my reasoning behind that is plain and simple. The earrings are 20% um, magic. So those would be like, if you're looking best in slot, BIS, the, uh, the earrings would be the better thing for the mages. Whereas this is the, this is like a straight stat buff to, uh, to somebody who can cure. Plain and simple. So this would be better for, I think, a healer. Um, but that's, that's, my, that's my opinion on that one. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So, more questions or you want to call it good? Mm, I think I'm good right now. I think I'm good to call it good right now. That's cool with you. Man, I'm, I'm cool with that, man. I'm cool with that. Uh, I'm going to answer this question, actually, before we leave, though. Do you That's think good. they will do Sephiroth? This is my. This is the last thing I'm, I'm answering. You can quote me on this for a later date. I think that they will eventually do Sephiroth. I think all the FF7 characters will make an appearance at some point, but... Um, I believe that the FF7 characters will be released around the same time that FF7 Remake is released. Um, I think Clake is on the same page, and many of us are on the same page. The FF7 release will most likely spur collabs in lots of FF7, I'm sorry, FF-related games. Um, so it only makes sense that they hold off until that point. Um, I don't think this is going to be a money ploy, as in, you know, they're, they're hurting on cash and they need, to, they need to rake money in really quick because... It just makes sense that they would do it at the time to promote that game more. Um, but anyway, so on that note, uh, we're going to go ahead and sign off on the last uh, ep- or I'm sorry, not the last episode, but the end of uh, um, Enter the Far Plane. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Month and we're done. Um, now, uh, but go ahead, Clay. Say goodbye, man. All right, guys. Uh, again, my name is Clay Kuzolt. You can find me on Twitter. Uh, with Clay Kuzol, you can follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Clay Kuzol. You can follow me on YouTube, youtube.com slash C slash Clay Kuzol. Um, that is, you know, that's where I do my banner reviews, my guides on Final Fantasy Brave Vex videos. And I'm going to have some Let's Plays of the new Final Fantasies like World of Final Fantasy. But to my, uh, I guess it's my right, we got Tech Maki. Please follow him on everything. He tried to Yo. get the sub goal on YouTube to get partnered with YouTube. Sub to him. Do it now. He needs it. And follow him on Twitch right now. If you're watching, follow him. Follow this man. <laughs> Go ahead, Thanks, bro. Yeah, sorry about that screen change there. Completely forgot that uh, I didn't adjust for the... Um... Anyway, irrelevant. Um... <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I'm Tech Maki. Uh, you're obviously on my channel on Twitch, so you know where that is. But if, in case you don't, um, you're listening on either YouTube or SoundCloud. Uh, we have, I'm, I'm, I'm on twitch.tv slash techmaki. I am trying to get that YouTube channel up there, so please go ahead and subscribe. Um, you can also find me on SoundCloud. I think it's soundcloud.com slash, uh, techmaki as well. Uh, and Twitter is also twitter.com slash techmaki. Um, so, yeah, you can definitely hook it up on all those. Now, after this, yeah, we're going to go do those pulls. But, um, again, guys, thanks for stopping by. Um, thanks for listening in. Uh, yeah. Take it easy, everybody. Take it easy. So, Clake, it's, uh, it's, it's time to do, uh, it's time to do a poll, I think, right? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, alright, well... What did you do to fix the echo? I, I didn't fix the echo. I didn't do anything. It just stopped. In the middle of the thing, it just stopped doing it. I was like, really? what? And everybody's like, yeah, it just stopped. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I didn't even know there was an echo. Sometimes I hear first. it. Sometimes I hear it when we're just talking at night. You know, we're just hanging out. I hear it, huh. and, it's, it, and it, it sparks off of your thing. But I wonder what's causing it. I'm, maybe I, it's maybe my weird. speakers up, man. That's might be what it is. Maybe I don't have my speakers all the way off, and so it's it's also playing. You can because this mic's pretty oh, damn good. Be. Yeah, but yeah, it way. is. Yeah, it is good. Yeah, but yeah, because like sometimes I'll come on and I don't know if you're there and you're AFK, and I'll be like, hey tech, and I'll hear myself go, hey tech. I'm just like, what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. I'm gonna go ahead and shut down and start up again to do, um, to do my my one polls uh, for the uh, for the stream. So yeah, we know open mics up right now. We got this. Yeah, we, know. Uh, yeah. we, we always thank like you having thank you, I am yeah. you. Thank you. Yeah. But all right, guys. Um, we'll go ahead and us. shut down. Now.